What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and a special happy Mario Day to everyone out there. If you're unfamiliar, March 10th, Mario Day. It all makes sense. Just a quick video, we want to go over uh, Nintendo's announcements today. We knew that they were going to be revealing some stuff related to Mario as they do every year. Uh, so we're just going to quickly go over everything that they announced in their little two and a half minute presentation that they threw up on uh, X first thing this morning. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button. It really helps me out. I love seeing all the people that are coming out to see our content. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Right now there's like 10% of people who watch this channel are actually subscribing so it really really helps out if you subscribe also it means a lot to me anyway let's get right into it uh first thing super mario brothers movie was a massive success came out last year uh, of course they were going to do a sequel to it right well that sequel is coming out on april 3rd of 2026 so it's a little ways off but I mean, obviously movies take quite a bit of time to get done no other real concrete information was put out other than that they're working on the animation for it now and the directors from the first movie are coming back to do the second one um i really enjoyed the first movie i know some people were kind of back and forth on it but the first time i watched it it was just it was so magical seeing 30 ish years of mario finally just on the big screen and not in that janky live action movie that i got to see growing up so i i, I really enjoyed it i thought it was great i think i ended up going to see that movie probably three or four times and that's not even including how many times i've seen it at home probably but anyway super excited for the super mario brothers movie too uh, coming out in 2026. Uh, the big news for me as a lover of Paper Mario games is that we finally got the release date for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door remake. Uh, that is coming out on that is coming out on May 23rd of this year. So not too much longer. That's what two months? Two months away? Two and a half months? Super exciting. Finally gives me something to do on my Switch, uh, other than just constantly replaying the same games I've been playing. Uh, there's not a lot of, like, content that we know of yet that's coming out on the Switch this year. So out of the stuff that we know about, this is definitely by far the one game I'm the most excited for. So, yeah, May 23rd. Uh, they didn't announce any, like, new content. I don't know if there is going to be any new content in this game or not. There's rumors going around that there are going to be adding some stuff to it, but nothing was shown here today, so maybe we'll get a special uh, Paper Mario Direct or something before it comes out. But either way, uh, cannot wait for May 23rd to get here. <laughs> it's now my, now my next date that I'm looking forward to. Next, we got the release date for Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, which which is um, 3DS game being remade. Um, that's coming out on June 27th, so just a little while later after Paper Mario. I guess it'd be right at one month after Paper Mario is whenever this is coming out. I think that their goal here is that they're trying to get everything that they've kind of promised is coming out out by June, so that way they can start working on like, hey, this is the second half of this year leading up into what potentially could be a Switch 2 launch either later this year or what everyone assumes it is is going to be uh, the first of next year. So they're trying to make sure that the calendar is cleared out before they do that. So I still question whether this this game is worth 60 bucks. I guess you could kind of say the same thing for Paper Mario also. It's in our times, it's kind of hard to justify paying 60 bucks for a remaster slash remake. But my full opinion on it, I guess, is that if it's a game that you really love, you should totally support it. Especially like with the Paper Mario, in my opinion, because if this game sells well, then that's going to tell Nintendo that this is the type of Paper Mario game we want in the future. Because I have mixed thoughts on the direction of like the later Paper Mario games. So I'm really hoping that Thousand Year Door HD sells really well. So they'll go, oh, we should make another game like this. But it's all up in the air. Anyway, you should just support the game if you, if you like them. And finally, the last bit of thing we got here is we got some new games that are coming to the Game Boy section of Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, so that's going to be Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, and Dr. Mario. Games that I don't think I've ever played on my Game Boy, but I'm sure that there are people out there that are super excited if they've enjoyed those games growing up. Uh, so you have something new to look forward to, just building off of the value of Nintendo Switch Online, just a little bit more. And that's pretty much it. They did, uh, yesterday, 
was uh, Lego had their little announcement that they're going to be working on some Mario Kart related Lego sets. And there was a couple other sets too that I saw out there. If you're into Lego, they look really cool. Somehow growing up, Lego was just something that I've never been super invested into, which my wallet probably really appreciates that because those Lego sets are expensive. But, you know, if you're a collector of Lego, uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff that's coming out there. But anyway, let me know what you think about uh, Nintendo's Mario Day announcements. Again, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Uh, I'll be back soon with more Nintendo related content as it breaks. But until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend and happy Mario Day.